Hi, my name is Wendy Delson. I am a music teacher in Stamford, Connecticut. I teach string orchestra in three different middle schools in a large, culturally diverse, um, economically diverse city in Connecticut. My students um, are in grades six, seven, and eight. Before I became a teacher here, which happened um, seven years ago, it's a second career for me, um, I got a bachelor's degree in music performance from Boston University, and I got certified at Western Connecticut State University in Connecticut after raising my two children. I am loving my job and wishing I had done it a lot longer ago. Um, I teach music, which is a real performance-based class. My students work on learning how to play their instruments and they perform at least two concerts a year plus this annual string festival. And I'm finding that adding technology to my classes helps my stu students learn better and faster. If I provide them with YouTube videos that I've made or found in YouTube on how to perform certain pieces. They can play along with them. It helps them practice at home. It gives them reinforcement since I only see them once a week. Um, I'm finding that my classes here are challenging. I am not a digital native and learning technology for me is sometimes difficult. I'm getting much better at learning to just figure things out and do them. And when all else fails, I ask a middle school student, middle school student who can usually tell me what I have to do or how to do it. So when I asked my students, I said, so what is hypertext and hypermedia? And they sort of looked at me with blank faces. Um, but they did suggest that I Google the words, so I did. And I understand now that it has to do with links. So I am I'm um, trying to think of ways that I can incorporate that into my classes, and I'm realizing that I usually have to give my kids very um, complicated directions on how to find what I've posted on the internet and what I want them to do. And it would be much easier for me just to say, here's a link for the first violins to the YouTube video that has what I want you to practice or for the second violins and as I'm starting to create a website for each of my schools for them to go to be able to have practice sheets and the calendar for rehearsals and for concerts and for videos for music for them to practice and downloading forms for permission slips and anything else that they might need, um, being able to use hypertext and hypermedia will really help me in making my website a lot more user-friendly for my students. So that's what I'm hoping to learn in this class, and I look forward to working with all of you. Have a great day.